Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem number 2 Parts A and D We must find all numbers which make each rational expression undefined. We will do a little bit extra here and also write the domain of the expression. A rational expression is a fraction made up of a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. So a rational expression is a polynomial divided by a polynomial. These expressions look like fractions, but they are not. They are undefined. Dividing by zero is not defined in mathematics. So the question becomes, what value of x, when we plug it in, renders zero in the denominator? We can typically solve that question algebraically. The denominator in part a is 7x minus 21. We set that equal to zero. solve for x, we get x equals 3. This means that this expression is undefined for x equals 3. The domain, I said we would add this information, is all numbers which make the expression defined, all valid inputs. So the domain is all real numbers except 3. Let's look at part d. Same question. What numbers make this expression undefined? The answer would be the numbers that make the denominator equal to zero. We will solve this equation by factoring. Since the leading coefficient is one, we can factor this quickly. The two numbers that multiply to six and add to five are three and two. we get solutions x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. If you input either of those numbers in for x into this expression, you would get a zero denominator. You would get an undefined expression. So therefore, our conclusion is that this expression is undefined for x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. But again, we get a little bit more out of this. The domain is the set of all allowable x values. So that would be all real numbers except x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2.